Insta fams. I hope you guys are all well. I'm um, coming on today just to be seen and to be heard and to be stand for my wife. You know, I've been biting my tongue big time over the last week um, with everything that's gone down. Out of respect to, you know, families back at home in Samoa. But to project all those emotions onto my wife and let her be the sole cause of actually what is going on in Samoa right now is an absolute joke. How we can write articles that have no sense of honesty or truth within these articles. How people can get away with that. How journalists can basically put together some sort of segment that's full of BS and show it to the whole country. It's a joke. To read these comments, to see the abuse that my wife's been copying left, right and centre, especially, especially from our own people. Man, it's... There, there are no words, because it's like... It, it is a joke, and... I feel sorry for these people, because they have no idea. You honestly have no idea. Before you comment on any page, my page or my wife's page, critically think for yourself. Read a vaccine package insert. Read that insert and there you will find the ingredients, all the ingredients, all the listed side effects. And then, after digesting all of that, come to your conclusion, and then comment. Don't come off the back of this media fucking circus that they continue to do and continue to team up against my wife. My wife is a threat. She is a threat to all those pharmaceutical industries out there pushing, shoving, forcing these vaccinations into our healthy bodies. I'm just so happy that I've seen a couple of um, fundraisers, uh, pickups for Samoa, asking for vitamin C, vitamin A, zinc, colloidal silver, things that my wife has said from day one. I don't know, man. Sometimes I really do ask myself, is it really worth it, my wife and I, being at the front lines of this, I guess, movement where we actually question, where we're actually asking these questions, valuable questions, questions that should be asked by every parent. Because this is bullshit, what we've been friggin' copying. I've done a lot of work in the community throughout my whole career, being an advocate for voice against violence. You know, that's violence as in physical violence, emotional violence, everything. I've been an advocate for state of mind, mental health. I've done so much work in this community. And for me to sit back like I did this week and read everything, wow. There's some really nasty people out there in this world. And I honestly think you need to check yourself. Because we're happy as a society to stand up for same-sex marriage, to stand up for religion and let everyone choose a religion that they want to believe in. And we're happy to, you know, support gender equality. But when it comes to families choosing to vaccinate or not to vaccinate their kids... Bingo. That is the biggest, biggest, biggest outcry, 
biggest, biggest, biggest reactions, biggest, biggest, biggest media circus surrounding this topic. And you got to ask yourself why, why? It's a joke, people. Ah, uh, I can go on all day. Honestly, can. I want to call forward all these families that are in the same boat as us, who chooses the lifestyle that we live, especially the celebrities, the sports stars, the NRL players. I know all of you. I know it's hard for us to speak out because we do cop criticism. And like my wife is right now, we are at the front lines copping abuse left, right and centre. But when is enough going to be enough? When is the time that we can all stand together as a community? Because we are a community. Even though you're behind the shadows, plodding along quietly in our own little bubbles, which is great. But if we really want to change the perspective of things, really want to change this conversation, then we're all going to have to come together at this time right now. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? Because my wife and I, we have arrows, we have knives, front and back. There are no spare space on our bodies where we haven't cop criticism. You need to share the workload and I'm calling you out big time. Drop down your guard. Stop living in fear. And collectively, we can do this because I'm sick and tired of my wife copying all this shit. For families like us, it's a freaking joke. And I know that we are doing this for a bigger reason than ourselves. It's for my kids, my kids' kids, and their choices. I'm fucking just, ah, oh, off it. It's fucking bullshit what people can get away with. And especially now that I'm not there with my, with my wife. joke and I don't know how people can get away with it I don't know how they can sleep at night do your due diligence as a parent as a mother, as a father don't be that person that reads ingredients when they do shopping they're counting calories, fucking count the chemicals that's going straight into your body research, find out what these ingredients are in these vaccines Ask questions. You only have one life. One life. Be your true, authentic self. Stop living in fear. When you fucking drop fear, that's where we learn, that's where we can grow.